Witnesses rushed to help a man who was hit by a car while riding his moped. But then tragedy struck again when he was hit by another vehicle. Our Dave Faraday was on the scene at the exit ramp from I-40 to Old Highway 10 in Burke County, and he joins us live. Erica, if you look behind me, you can see that exit ramp off of Interstate 40. Follow me right over here. You see this pickup truck right there is where the accident happened when an SUV pulled out and then it was struck by a moped this morning, knocking that moped rider right off the bike. I'm told there was not one but two different accidents that happened minutes apart. Two Good Samaritans rushed to help the injured rider of this moped near Hildebrand. The highway patrol says he landed in the roadway after running a red light and striking an SUV that had just gotten off of Interstate 40. Before firefighters could arrive, Jamie Freeman tried to help, getting down next to the injured rider when he heard someone screaming about a second vehicle. I had enough time to glance over my shoulder to see her bailing through, so I dove out of the way. I wish I could have had enough time to pull the man out of the way, but it just wasn't enough time. The Highway Patrol says the driver of the second SUV ran over the rider. He later died at the hospital. Investigators say it was still dark at the time of the accident and there was some fog and no lights in the roadway. You know, you want to stop and, and, and be aware of, of the drivers around you and what's going on. Jamie Freeman says his hazard lights were on and someone was trying to stop traffic prior to the deadly wreck involving the second SUV. If they would have just kind of paid attention that, hey, look around, there's other cars stopped, there's people standing out of their vehicles, that, you know, maybe this wouldn't have happened. The Highway Patrol has not released the name of the man who died here earlier today. All that unfolding around 6.30 this morning. Erica, I'm told by the Highway Patrol, once they get their investigation completed here, they're going to forward it to the district attorney and let him decide on charges. Back to you. All right, keep us updated. Thank you, Dave.